कैप्टन रिजवी इज अ मेरी टाइम लेजेंड जिन्होंने अपनी जिंदगी मर्चेंट नेवी में बच्चों की ट्रेनिंग के ऊपर दे दी एंड ही हैज गॉट अ सक्सेसफुल यूट्यूब चैनल कॉल्ड सेलर्स ट्यूब एज वेल टुडे वी आर सो हैप्पी दैट ही ब्लेस दस विद दिस वंडरफुल पैकेज कॉल्ड डेक ड्रीमर पैकेज जहां पर एक बच्चा जो डीएनएस कर रहा है या बी एस सी नॉटिकल साइंस कर रहा है इफ इज गोइंग टू गो एज अ डेक कैडेट और इवन इफ अ डेक कैडेट दिस पैकेज इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर यू तो जस्ट एक सैंपल देने के लिए दिस इज अ वंडरफुल वीडियो दैट आई एम गोइंग टू शोड अड ऑन स्टेयरिंग एंड सेलिंग रूल्स एंड इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो देन डू बाय द डेक ड्रीमर पैकेज बिकॉज लर्निंग का कोई एंड नहीं है एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बी स्मार्ट यू वॉन्ट टू अंडरस्पेक्ट ऑनशिप दिस पैकेज इज मेड फॉर यू सो हे let me start describing about the call reg so first of all police and avoidance rules at sea there are various name you can call them by ror all right or we can call them as call reg or we can call them as irpcs there could be various names so irpcs stands for international regulations for preventing collisions at sea 1972 all right and uh, these are conventions imo convention like you have sola smapol etc so this is imo convention and uh, it is mandatory convention means something which is mandatory which you are supposed to follow and it was adopted in 20th october 1972 entered into force 15 july 1977 now let's talk about the structure there are six parts as you know a b c d e f f is a is a newly added part all right that is about verification and control so part a is general part b is steering and sailing part c lights and shade d is sound and light signal part e is exemption then there are four annexes the annexes are similar to like uh, positioning and technical details of lights and shapes so whatever the lights uh, master light and uh, stern light and side lights whatever then additional signals for fishing vessel like shooting nets falling nets nets have come fast up on an off section uh, vessel engage in pair trolling etc these signals are given here and then the technical details of sound signal what kind of sound signals you are supposed to make and the distress signal by the way in your oral exam also you should know what kind of uh, distress signal is supposed to be maintained now let's focus on part b that is that is <clears throat> steering and sailing rules well part b this is having three section section 1 is any condition of visibility that is rule 4 to 10 then section 2 that is inside of one another section 11 to 18 and section 3 is restricted visibility rule 19 that is in or near an area of restricted visibility so if you see if you are inside of one another that means section 1 and section 2 will be applicable and if you are in restricted visibility then section 1 and section 3 is applicable so in both the scenario you will see that this is common so rules of section 1 are applicable in both conditions so here let me just explain it further so if you can see each other like this vessel can see each other that means this is section 1 plus section Two. Now, if you cannot see each other, that is in or near an area of restricted visibility, then section one plus section three. But this has two cases. One, say for example, one vessel cannot see other, so this is in fog, and this is not in fog, or both the vessels are in fog. So in this case, you have to use uh, this in or near an area of restricted visibility rules. So now let's talk about section one. section 1 the rules are very sequential order so first of all if you are driving car you observe you proceed you determine whether you are going to hit other and then you take action similarly here rule 5 look out observe rule 6 safe speed then you determine risk of collision and then you take action to avoid collision of course later on these two rules were added that is narrow channel and tss so now let's talk about head on situation head on situation is something if you see these lights if you can see the side lights and uh, both the side lights and you can see the masthead light that is the head on situation actually these lights they have the cut off of 1 to 3 degree 1 to 3 degrees outside the prescribed sector so 1 to 3 degree here 1 to 3 degree here so that is the head on sector by the way rest of the thing is crossing and this is the overtaking sector So overtaking sector is the sector of western light 
the rest of the sectors are crossing except the head on sector then what kind of signals you are supposed to maintain you are supposed to maintain one short blast return course to starboard two short blast return course to port three short blast return course uh your engines are going astern and if you are in doubt at least five and short rapid blast so again let me explain about head on situation first of all it is applicable to two powered and vessel remember if one vessel is nuc ram sailing vessel fishing vessel etc then this rule is not applicable this is applicable only when there are two powered and vessel and when they are on reciprocal or nearly reciprocal so how to define this nearly reciprocal this says 1 to 3 degree of the cut off so maybe on the both side it could be double so 2 to 5 degree maybe here say for 5 degrees suppose this vessel is 1 mile uh, sorry this is 12 miles so this distance uh, x is equal to uh, 12 into 10 5 degree that is about 1 mile so 1 mile this side 1 mile this side that is also head on situation all right so in head on situation what you have to do alter course to starboard passport to port everybody knows and this is the configuration like you need to see the second master light or first master light and side lights all right then the crossing situation again for us crossing situation is also applicable to two part and vessel okay and that is uh, when you are coming up 22.5 degrees so one vessel is give way the vessel which has the other on the starboard side is give way the other vessel is a stand on so give way vessel was to have to do you have to determine risk of collision if there is a risk of collision avoid crossing ahead and one shot blast at the coast to starboard and avoid crossing ahead the stand on vessel is supposed to maintain course and speed and if vessel this give way vessel is not taking action then you are supposed to take action uh the so first action is sound at least five and short rapid blast and if still this guy doesn't live in one shot blast at the coast to starboard pass a stone of it then we are having overtaking situation overtaking situation is not only about pardon vessel it means any vessel overtaking other has to keep out of the way and uh, this is the rule which even start even before risk of collision you need to take early and substantial action and you can overtake from either side this side or this side and any vessel means any type of vessel that that means fishing vessel and you see ram etc okay vessel being overtaken has to maintain course and speed so once overtaking always overtaking so this is overtaking this is overtaking this is overtaking all right then if you are having a different types of vessel say one vessel is uh, overtake a uh, pardon vessel other vessel is nuc ram a fishing vessel sailing vessel then you are supposed to keep clear if you are sailing vessel then you are supposed to keep clear of nuc ram and fishing vessel if you are fishing vessel then you are supposed to keep clear of nuc and ram if you are sea plane that means you are supposed to keep clear of all the vessel by the way nuc means not under command due to some exceptional circumstances such as rudder broken steering failure etc so ram is because of the nature of the work like dredger mine sweeper etc then the cbd is a vessel constrained by a draft because of available depth and width of navigable vessel then rule 19 conduct of vessel in restricted visibility basically this is applicable to when two vessels are not inside of one another in or near an area of restricted visibility you need to keep engine standby reduce the speed okay even if you observe fog you are supposed to reduce the speed and always proceed at safe speed so if you are detecting other target on the radar if you see the target on first quadrant alter to starboard if you see the target on second quadrant again alter to starboard if you see the target in third quadrant again alter to starboard and if you see the target in uh, quadrant number 4 you don't alter to starboard rather you should alter to port because it says clearly if the target is in quadrant 4 avoid altering towards a vessel a beam or above the beam that is rule 19d second hence alter course to port provided it is not creating another close quarter situation and overtaking well overtaking you can overtake from either side that is not a problem and the fog signal making way one prolonged blast and uh, uh, if it is stopped then two prolonged blast all right so this is about uh, your restricted visibility steering and sailing rule now let's talk about signals ships whistle signal uh, signals has to be made on ships whistle marine horn etc so it can be done on any sound signaling appliances which is capable of producing blast as per nx3 
All right. So short blast is one second. Prolonged blast is four to six seconds. Then you, the equipment. If the vessel is less than twelve meter, whistle. If the vessel is twenty meter or more, then bell plus whistle. And if the vessel is hundred meter or more, then gong, bell plus whistle. All right. So whistle frequency. If the vessel is twenty four hundred meter or more, then deep tone. And if the vessel is seventy uh, five meter or less. Then shrill tone, immediate uh, is relative tone. By the way, the range is around two miles. Then have a look. All right. So applicable signal. Just now I had discussed one short blast, ultra close to starboard. Two short blast, ultra close to port. Operating astern. Three short blasts. And if you are having doubt, then at least five short and rapid blasts or LDS lamp. And if you are nearing the band, then one prolonged blast. And that has to be answered by another vessel by pan through long blast. Then overtaking in a narrow channel fairway. If you are overtaking from starboard side, two prolong one short. If you are overtaking from port side, two prolong and two short. And the whistle has to sound in agreement, like dot it, dot it. Okay, you can overtake. Okay. Then sound signals. Sound signal. Pardon vessel one prolong. Pardon vessel. Uh, sorry, making way is pro one prolong. Pardon vessel underway, but a stop two prolonged blast. Can you see ram CBD etc. One prolonged and two short blast. The vessel being towed is one prolonged three short blast. Vessel engaged in pilotage duty. Usually you won't find this. You won't find this signal, but this is four short blast. All right. Then the interval between the two blasts is not more than two minutes. Restricted visibility for vessels at anchor. Very simple. Rapid ringing of bell for five second at Interval not more than one minute. Then gong. If the lab, uh, vessel is hundred meter or more, then gong is sounded in off part for about five second after ringing the bell. So what is the difference vessel aground? Vessel aground means it is the same at well as vessel at anchor, but three separate and distinct strokes. One on bell immediately before and after ringing of bell. 